Hello everyone, RiceDime911 here, and today in this tutorial video, we are going to look at how to fix a certain type of error. And you probably know what it is, because you probably read the title of this video. But without further ado, the error is when you go into the F1 menu or control menu in game on one of your mods, it might say something like missing sample strobe 1 in 10n.xml but it might be something other than sample strobe generally it's one of the inputs for one of the controls of your mod so if you see this error well here's how to fix it so if your mod is having this problem what you're going to want to do is take the zip file of the mod with the problem Put it in a folder somewhere where you can easily work on it and go ahead and extract it. And once that's done, you're going to want to go ahead and open the XML and mod desk of the mod in order to fix it. So that's these two right here. I'm going to use Notepad++ to add the code because it organizes it real nice and makes it easy to see the problems. So, so, what was our error again? It was missing sample strobe 1 in 10n n.xml. So basically what this means is that somewhere in the XML we have this input, but there's no part in the 10n for this input specifically, so with this spelling. So oftentimes when you have an error like this, it's due to capitalization or misspelling so that the entries are different between the XML and the mod desk. But if you don't know what that means, don't worry, I'll show you right away, and it's actually quite simple. Okay, so let's get started. So in the mod desk, we have this here which seems very similar to our sample strobe 1. But we're going to go look in the XML, and we see here we have the inputs name sample strobe 1. And if we go and look in the mod desk, we can see that we have a 10n for small sample strobe 1. So no capitalization there. But we do have capitalization here. So the problem is that in the XML, we have different capitalization than in the 10n. So this is creating a problem because it can't find an input in the 10n for large sample strobe 1. So what we gotta do is we gotta go and change all these s's to lowercase so that they match up with what is in the mod desk under 10n. And also make sure that in the input bindings we have the input name for that, sample strobe 1, is lowercase as well. So we want to have all these match up so that our 10n works properly. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So now we've got all these names, inputs here, changed to small sample strobe 1. So now all of these, they all match up with what is in the mod desk and the 10n. So now when it looks for the input here for sample strobe 1, between the XML and the mod desk, you'll see that it's the same thing and it'll register it properly and not tell you that it's missing. So it won't tell you anymore that there's no such input in the XML or the mod desk. So that's basically how you fix it. If you have that error, you're going to want to look in your XML and look for similar entries to what you see and you're going to want to look at your 10n and see is there an input like that and if there is then you're going to want to go to your XML and change the spelling so that all lines up properly. So hopefully this tutorial has helped you if it has be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. It's Rice Time 911.
And just to show you it worked, here's a little video of it in game where it says, as you see up there, press Z to activate strobes. So there's no more warning, missing, nothing like that. It all works perfectly now. So yeah, just do the same on yours and it should all work fine.